Stranger Things is one of the biggest shows of recent memory. And with its fourth season coming, there are theories abound about what is going on, what will happen, and more. So let's break down some of these theories that totally make sense for season four. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Number nine, more kids, more powers. One of the things that sets the crew of Stranger Things apart from one another is that of Eleven and her powers. The need to keep her safe and keep her power contained for the most part was a driving element of the show. In season two, we met Kali who was the sister to Eleven, and she too had powers. Granted, this wasn't exactly a popular plot thread, but it honestly doesn't matter in the grand scale because of what it means. It means that there are indeed other kids with powers in the world of Stranger Things. Season 4 is being billed as a lot of things, including a climax or even a finale in Potentia. So what better way to hype things up by showing even more kids with more powers coming into the fold? We know they're out there, somewhere. So why wouldn't they show themselves eventually? Just in a better way than season two, obviously. Number eight, the return of the Demogorgon. While Stranger Things may have been about a bunch of kids trying to find out what was going on in their small town in Indiana, it was still very much a horror story with plenty of monsters. And in season one, we got arguably the scariest of the bunch via the Demogorgon. This creature became very popular in pop culture, even going so far as to have people cosplaying as it in Comic-Cons. But at the end of Season 1, we saw Eleven defeat it in an epic battle. But at the end of Season 3, we got a revolution that the Russians are now in possession of their own Demogorgon, which is bad news all around. And yet, fans wonder, is that a different creature or the same one? Some fans think that because we didn't technically see Eleven kill the Demogorgon, and the Russians came to Hawkins in Season 2, that they might have found the body of the beast and just kept it. After all, we know the Russians wanted to have this power of the Upside Down for themselves, and what better way to do that than having one of its true monsters at your beck and call? Number 7. To Russia with Love Russia has been playing a big part in Stranger Things since Season 2, and even in Season 1 there were hints that Eleven was somehow from Russia even maybe being a spy. But with the arrival of the first Stranger Things Season 4 trailer, we got definitive proof that Jim Hopper, Eleven's adoptive father, is not just alive after the events of Season 3. He's in Russia. Teases from the actors state that there's going to be big revelations about Hopper in the upcoming season, and whether that happens or not is up for debate. But if Hopper is indeed in Russia, and is possibly a captive there, based on the trailer we've seen, then if Eleven finds out where he is, she's going to go after him. After all, they're family now, and Eleven has grown very attached to Hopper. Fans think that while she feels he's dead now, if that were to change, all eyes are on Russia, especially with season three editions that were based in Russia. You don't get between a girl and her father, am I right? Number six, who is the American? This one is a bit more abstract, but roll with us on this one. In the mid credit scene, at the end of The Battle of Star Court, Russian guards are taking a prisoner down to be fed to the Demogorgon as a sacrifice. Before they find the prisoner they are looking for, however, they mistakenly stop and nearly open the cell of a prisoner known only as The American. An ominous name, no doubt, but a succinct one, and one that could mean a great many things. Speaking objectively, there are plenty of characters that this could be, including another name for Hopper as we know he's in Russia. But one of the most compelling theories to surface from fans is that it's actually Matthew Modine's enigmatic Dr. Brenner, also known as Papa. Why him? It's quite simple. Dr. Brenner was presumably killed by the Demogorgon at the end of the first season, but viewers never actually saw a body or received real confirmation of his death. So not unlike the Demogorgon, it could be that he was picked up by the Russians after they came to Hawkins, and they're keeping him around for various reasons. Number 5. Jonathan and Nancy Forever This one may seem like fan desire more than anything else, but Stranger Things, and TV shows in general, have shown that relationships sometimes get prioritized over actual plot. Jonathan Byers and Nancy Wheeler were one of the main couples of Stranger Things, and yet, 
By the end of season three, things seem to have been derailed in a very understandable way. After everything the Byers family had been through, they decided to leave Hawkins and put everything behind them. This meant that Jonathan and Nancy couldn't be together, and their goodbye made a lot of fans sad. However, to say that this is the end is a bit premature. Fans have speculated that while they are long distance, they'll try and find a way to make it work. Not to mention, they're almost ready for college and thus could meet up another way. The loyalty to these characters is powerful, but whether this particular fan theory is correct, we'll just have to wait until season four debuts. Number four, the powers of 11. We started off this list by talking about the various powered kids that could be out there in the world right now, but the fate of Eleven and her powers is a bit ambiguous right now. In season three, Eleven's powers vanished without a trace. At first, she held on to hope that they would come back. But as time went on, she accepted that they would be gone despite the others encouraging her to try and get them back because of everything going on. At the end of season three, Eleven and Joyce, played by Winona Ryder, left Hawkins, which means that Eleven, especially now without her powers, could have the chance at a normal life. But given that this is Stranger Things and nothing is ever truly normal, it's very likely that she'll get her powers back. And we wouldn't be surprised if it comes in the most dramatic way possible. Number three, the power of time travel. Stranger Things has been a lot of things to a lot of people. But one of the biggest things by far is a haven for 80s nostalgia. And in season three, we got a tease of what might be coming in the form of time travel. Steve and Robin were injected by something from the Russians and they went to a movie to go see Back to the Future. As a result, they talked about time travel and all that came with it. A speech from a stoner or a tease of what's coming next. As we all know, dimensional travel is very real in Stranger Things and with various projects and powers already on the table, it doesn't seem false at all to think that time travel could happen in some form or another. But to what end? What would be the end goal for this? That remains a mystery. Number two, Bowman is on it. Thanks to an Easter egg found in Stranger Things 3, fans were able to hear an enlightening answering machine message that hints at season four. It just so happens that the phone number Hopper gave out in Season 3, Episode 6, really works. And it's possible to call Murray Bowman. In the recording, the journalist-turned-conspiracy theorist says that he has news for Joyce about Hopper, although it's unclear whether he's suggesting that the detective is alive or not. But what the Easter egg does make clear is that Bowman is already on the case and isn't about to quit investigating the stranger things that have been transpiring in Hawkins and around the globe. Plus, Bowman's unexpected friendship with secretly sweet Russian Alexei was one of the highlights of season three, making him a fan favorite. If the working phone number suggests anything, it's that Bowman will be back and play an important part in Stranger Things 4. And who better than a conspiracy theorist to figure out where everything is heading, right? Number one, everyone leaves. One of the big things that the Stranger Things showrunners have noted is that they aren't going to outlive their welcome. They've even said that the initial plan was to do four seasons, and then they were out. Obviously, that could change over the course of the upcoming season, but you never know. The reason for this has fueled a major fan theory. Mainly, the showrunners stated that they couldn't justify everyone in Hawkins going through danger after danger every year, stating that they're going to have to get the fuck out of this town which has led to a major fan theory about the ending of the story. One that we've already touched upon via the leaving of Eleven and the buyers. Mainly, it's possible that the end of Stranger Things literally has everyone leaving Hawkins, Indiana for one reason or another. That life there was too jarring, too scarring, and that no matter what happens with the Russians and the Upside Down, they're closing the book on that page of their lives. That might sound grim, but the Stranger Things team has tried to put a lot of real-life elements into the characters and their stories. And sometimes, when life gets too painful, you leave what gave you that pain. So perhaps our cast and characters leave and go their separate ways to put an end to these Stranger Things. So what do you think? What do you think of these fan theories that could prove true for when Stranger Things Season 4 arrives? Which of these fan theories do you think are the best? Which ones do you think need a little bit of work? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe 
and I'll see you next time on the channel. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.